You guys, this is Belinda Reedy, The Witch in Love, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, not all of the ritual, but somewhat of, of a ritual to take someone that is cruel, someone that is not worth a shit, and mistreats his woman. We're going to take this motherfucker and we're going to let him be seen for what he truly is. We're going to take his picture, and if we had a poppet, we would do a poppet. We're going to enchant. I've written his name and his birthday on this. And his picture, enchant, and he will be seen for what he truly is. For the motherfucking disgusting piece of shit that he truly, really is. The ugliness from his inside is going to come out, and everyone's going to be able to see that. So I'm taking this picture. Once I've done it, I'm placing it over the mirror, where I'm going to entrap him now. Immediately, all right? Now, this is my intention. For him to be seen for the loser bitch sack that he is and for the user that he is i'm gonna break the glass i'm gonna break the mirror as it is all right so i'm gonna try to show you guys I'm take you off the table it's gonna be loud please be very careful please wear glasses and don't do this if you're not trained i want him to see himself for the hell for the piece of shit that he is and i want everyone around him to see him for that So that ritual part of that is done. That's my daughter in the picture there. Here we go. Now the next step in this, continue, my little DJ girl, continue with the music, please. Next step to this, I'm still leaving it on there for now. I have already taken my jar and I have lined it with regular black construction paper because I want him to be put in darkness. I have also already fumigated him, so put the enchanted the, the jar with what I want to happen. Remember, I'm breaking this mirror uh, for the purpose of this. I want for everything and how ugly that he truly is to be seen and for everyone to turn their back on him, right? Until he realizes what the hell, what a piece of shit he is. Until then, maybe I'll release him. So this is here. Now the herbs I'm going to be using, going to be pepper flakes, good old pepper flakes, black pepper, and cayenne pepper are, are good old traditional, uh, hot foot powder kind of stuff right we're also going to be using saffron saffron is used a lot in the black magic in hoodoo practices i'm also yes please just put it here i'm also going to be using um mistletoe all right because i want him to bind him to this shit mistletoe is poisonous so keep that in mind please wash your hands after everything that you do right and if you're not sure about doing it contact me remember i do not show exactly and everything to the t i cannot that is my practice. That is how long I have studied for years that I've studied for over 30 years and what I've learned among, out, along the years. All right, guys? So if you need anything like this done and if you can't do it yourself, contact me. Now, the next things we're going to be using also, we're going to be using my spider web oil. We're going to be using some vinegar. And I'm going to be using, let's say this, if this was for me and it was for someone that, that was around me, I would urinate into it when it was all put in there but since it's for a client she's not near me i'm going to be using ammonia in its place all right so that is something that you can use in its place of urine you're also going to need graveyard dirt if you want i'm using the crossroads because i'm going to give him two choices where he fixes shit up or continue going down the road that he's going and it's going to be misery for him first thing i'm going to do is the way his picture is i don't want him to see the light so i'm going to close it in Close him. He's got all this shutter in here. And I'm going to put him head down first into the jar. So here we go. Okay, I'm not looking at him. He's going head first. All the glass is going to be in his face. Be very careful with this. If you have children, small animals, please clean up afterwards. It's going in there. Everyone's going to see him for the truly the piece of shit that he is. That's my intention. Women, men, his job, everything. He's going to go to shit. This is a very strong Bell. So I suggest that if you're going to do this and if you like regret it afterwards, it's going to be hard to take it off. Don't do it if you're not sure. Do not practice magic, people, if you don't know what you're doing. Because even if it doesn't take in a month or two, it will take within that year. And then you're not going to know what the hell to do. Especially if you're just angry at the person for the day or two. And you're not talking to your boyfriends or girlfriends. Don't fuck around with this shit, alright? Don't play with magic if you don't know what you're doing. Next thing I'm going to be putting in here. 
are the herbs. And this whole time, I am putting my intention to it. I already know what I want to happen. I want him to be seen for the hell he with that piece of shit that he is. He, all right, so I'm gonna say his name, but. Now remember, when you do this kind of spell, you gotta bring your level of vibration down to a really dirty monkey level. Once I place all of my ingredients in here, candle is ready to go. I'm gonna activate it. He's in a very dark place right now. Okay. I'm going to start adding my spider oil. I'm gonna add my vinegar to make his life bitter. It's like he's made my client's life bitter. And the reason I'm using this color vinegar, because that's what I have. If you have white vinegar, go ahead. Now, I could add war water if I want, but today I'm adjusting this because I don't want to add war water. This person just wants to fix this guy's attitude and then um, kind of bind him. Okay. Next thing we're going to add is our, our courageous dirt. And at this point, I am going to tell him, and I'm going to think about the client's name, and I'm going to tell him, just put something else on. Can you? Um, I'm thinking, and I'm telling him, he's got choices. This is the crossroads dirt. So it's graveyard, crossroads. So my intention to this is he's got a, a choice to make. Either be the fucking guy that he's he should be, okay. the kind of guy that he should be, or not. If he chooses not to, then we will deal with that. And it's all on him, alright? At this point, if this was for you, you could spit into it. Like I said, urinate into it. Put menstrual blood, blood in it or semen if you're a dude. Um, depending on what you want to do. Like, just be real careful with what you do. Okay with magic if you don't know what you're doing. This is real shit, guys. Whether you believe it or not, it's real shit. I'm gonna add this would be my urine where the folks are urinated into it. Be careful not to overflow. There we go. His head is submerged in there. At this point I would spit into it. It's not my person client. I'm gonna work this guy for like nine days. It's a whiny moon right now, so it's fantastic for that. I've been scripted his name on this black candle reversed and I'm gonna add my spider web oil and my intention to it I'm gonna go light this guy count nine days down then I shall bury it I could bury it at a graveyard I could bury it in a dry dry lonely lonely place which is probably what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put him in a dry in a very lonely place I ain't gonna go to no graveyard this time I'm gonna take him to a lonely place which is how he's gonna feel He's gonna feel alone. He's gonna feel like everyone's turned their back on him because of the shit piece of shit that he is. And everyone around him is gonna see him for what the hell he truly is. And the ugliness inside of him is gonna come out to everyone. So it's gonna show in physical aspects. He may lose his hair. He may get scabs. Different things, alright? So just be very wary. Alright? I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, blessed be. Many blessings. And I'm also gonna be showing other videos in a bit that I have stocked up on my phone here, but I love you guys. Subscribe, share, like, and if you need any work, just contact me. I'm Belinda Reedy, the witch in love. You can also find me on To Love a Witch. Many blessings.